Hello YouTubers, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video because I heard this morning, like God woke me up around 6 a.m. and told me to pray. So I was like, is this my voice or it cannot be the devil's voice, the devil wouldn't want me to pray for sure. So I, I, I obeyed and I just went to my prayer room and as I sat down, I heard God say, pray for America. I was like, pray for America? And I didn't know really what to pray, so I prayed in, in the spirit and tongues and, you know, for America. And then I concentrated on, have Lord have mercy upon this nation and whatnot. And I kind of remembered uh, several days ago, I prophesied, I don't really prophesy at all, but uh, all of a sudden words came from the Lord, I believe. I believe the Lord's word came out. And it just like, I just had to speak whatever. God was putting my heart to speak, and it was uh, like calamities are coming to America. Um, people will suffer, and uh, I hope they don't die. But you know, if it comes, it comes. Like I don't know what is, what's going to happen, and, and I believe we need to repent and we need to ask God for mercy upon wherever we live, wherever we're at, because I believe uh, God's judgment is coming upon America. And as you already see, already there are already natural disasters. You know, the huge mess, mess with this government shutdown and all this stuff. And it's just going, everything is going crazy. It's not like really time for peace. I believe we need to get prepared for the worst times. You know, and I don't know, I'm not trying to preach gloom and doom. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a self-proclaimed prophet or anything. So, you know, I don't know, I'm just called to be a pastor, but Nothing really, well, you know, pastors, I don't know if they really, you know, uh, hear a word from God. But I, I was asking God yesterday, God, please show me something about what will happen in the future. And God hasn't shown me anything yet. But this morning he woke me up and then asked me to pray for America. So I believe something bad is happening. That's why God is asking me to pray for America. If that everything's going to be good, God wouldn't tell me to pray for America, right? So you know, you kind of can expect what, what God means by, okay, there must be something bad coming to America and uh, we need to pray as prayer warriors, as, as seekers of God. I mean, this is time to really get right with God, honor Him in your time of seeking Him and honor Him in your daily life and, you know, God will honor you and have you saved whatever troubles may come. You don't have to worry because God will protect you if you honor Him, if you've been faithful unto Him. But if you're not, you need to seriously get right with God. And you're the ones who really need to start getting worried because if you're not right with God, how can you expect yourself to be protected? How can you expect yourself to be fed if there's no food? Or, you know, be be, be well and health and, and whatever you need, right? So please start praying and seeking the Lord. Take this seriously. Do not take this lightly. You know, I don't really speak these things all the time. You know why I, I don't, you know, check my other videos. I don't really talk about these kind of things. But I think, I think, you know, the Lord is really uh, pushing us to time to repent. If we don't repent, I believe bad things will really happen to America. And I don't know if Americans, all of them will repent. God will save a nation that repents, but it seems like people's ears are blocked or something their hearts are hardened they don't want to you know receive these things for some reason i don't know i don't i have no don't don't know so pray for the government to not do the will of the devils not do the will of the whatever freemasonry or illuminati or whatever those satanic organizations this one world government type of movement that is happening that is maybe done by these uh satan worshipers you know like the freemasonry and all this kind of stuff I don't know, you know, I've never been in dwelling in those things, but I heard here and there, you know, there's stuff like that. So, pray for America, pray against those evil um, governments or secret organizations that are trying to control and unite the whole world, like how, how they, back in the day, tried to make one world government by building a Babel Tower together, you know, all this kind of stuff. And it's the same thing, humans do the same thing that they did thousand years ago. They want to be united in a certain way and God divided it because God said go spread out and multiply and they didn't. They rather like try to come against God or I don't know what they're trying to do. I, don't, I think they're really silly and dumb 
because uh, I don't know what they are wanting. You know, if they got a lot of money, just live. You know, however you want to live. You know, and just just say bye bye. You know, why they do gotta do this kind of wicked things and plan evil things? Because because I believe you know Satan's ultimately leading them, and you know Satan is their uh, source of wealth and all this kind of stuff. So. I don't know, uh, they're just silly because they're going to be burning in hell forever. I don't want to be there. You know, I don't know why they want to be there because they know that God is real and Satan is real and, you know, if they follow the devil, they will go to hell with him. And it's just unavoidable. How can bad win against good? It can't. It doesn't. Ultimately, when it comes down to it, man, God will judge and all the bad things, all the bad people will, will be burning in hell. Okay, and if you think you're good, you know, don't deceive yourselves, you know, because cause inwardly, you know, we are, like, our heart might be very dirty and wicked itself. You need to cleanse yourself by the blood of Jesus Christ by repenting and asking God to cleanse your heart, cleanse your mouth, cleanse your whatever head with all these worldly things and all these lusts of this world. So, yeah, let's just pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come together in unity, Father, for America, Father. I know the bad things that are going to happen, Father, but please protect us who are praying. Please uh, let us not be led astray, but help us to come to God in full heart and seriously let us be able to dedicate ourselves unto you, honoring you in daily life and then serving you, Father. Father, serving you day and night, Father, help us to really come to you in spirit and in truth, worshiping you, Father, and doing what you want us to do, Father. Help us uh, and have mercy on the United States, Father, and America, Father, help help these nations, Father, to uh, to really stand up for God. And if, and if, 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 um, if anything, Father, uh, let your will be done, Father, according to how you like, but please let not the people be killed and dying, Father, so reduce those numbers, Father, if you can. And please, rather let them repent unto God instead of hardening their hearts, Lord, like the pharaohs of Egypt. Father, harden their hearts, heart against Moses. Father, please do not let them harden their heart, but let them come to repentance, God. In Jesus' my name, I pray that please uh, protect us and um, help us to be led by your Spirit, speaking according to your Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I ask that your Holy Spirit to, to fill us and to to charge us with you help us to come con, come and continue to pray and uh, continue to uh, read your word and, and stand fast in the word father help us not to be led away by the devils and demons and the things of this world because they're so deceiving and they're so full of lust father please O oh lord keep us from lusting and keep us from all these useless things but rather help us to be focused on you and in your kingdom in Jesus' mighty name, I pray, Father, please, O oh Lord, please save us all. Save us, save us to, keep to your kingdom. And whatever may befall, we know that we have confidence and trust in you, that you will take us out of it, and that we have full trust in you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you for this trust that you have given us. Thank you for this faith that you have given us. Please, O oh Lord, um, bless us with whatever we need, and please protect us and all, all our family members as well. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Glory, God. Glory, God. We just give you and thanks. And praise unto you that you're warning us before time. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. All right, God bless you. Take care.